गोरखा हित सर्वोपरि ओ कैप्टन माय कैप्टन आर यू डूइंग रणवीर ऑफ ऑफ हैप्पी टू बी आई एम सॉरी आई मिस दैट हाउ यू डूइंग कैन यू कैन यू हियर मी बस हमारा साथ दे दे नहीं नहीं कोई नहीं साथ देगा इंटरनेट दो दो डोंट वरी कैसे हैं आप गुड फीलिंग गुड यार संडे का दिन है लॉकडाउन के बीचो बीच हैड अ गुड वर्कआउट स्पेंड सम टाइम विद द वाइफ गेट सम वर्क डन एंड दिस इज द द हाइलाइट ऑफ माय डे डेयर आई से द हाइलाइट ऑफ माय मंथ ऑफ पास्ट टू मंथ्स हैव बीन हाइबरनेटिंग एंड दिस इज लिटरली द फर्स्ट टाइम uh i'm a part of uh, any kind of public broadcast uh but when the skip calls you must answer the call thank you so much thank you so much really kind and i and i must say so whenever we announced our guest there are a lot of questions that come from people which we also read although 10 questions are mine uh sorry guys but then a lot of them said that no he hasn't come he doesn't come live we don't know much about him and i wanted to ask you why is it a conscious thing or you were just zoned out and in your own space um uh captain i've been engaging with this uh, period of lockdown uh, in many different ways in the first uh, two weeks it felt like something then in the first month uh, then month and a half now it's been two months uh, so i've been going through different phases uh, first just uh, you know trying to wrap my head around everything that's going on in the world uh, you know every time you wake up in the morning and you open the news and you read what is happening and it's a very grim scenario and it's uh, it's disturbing it's 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 actually devastating to witness what is happening in this unprecedented pandemic to all our brothers and sisters not just in our country but across the world you know what the world is facing this global crisis that is really it weighs down on you you know um so True. i was uh, going through my own process of um, you know uh, wrapping my head around it in a way you know it it has an effect on you uh, emotionally mentally um i don't think i was uh, prepared um to engage uh anything or anyone on a, on a, in public you know just uh, staying home and um making sure that um you know i'm using this time in as positive a way as possible you know uh, trying to uh, be positive trying to be optimistic trying to uh, find the silver lining trying to um, uh, see the brighter side of things um as grim a scenario as it is um so i i also use this time to kind of hibernate and uh, uh, experience the joy of uh, doing nothing uh, there's a charm wow. to that as well um True. i must say before this uh, it was um, uh, life was moving at a very frenetic pace a very hectic pace i i felt like i was a hamster on a wheel you know in the middle of the rat race uh especially after padmavat then simba and gali boy my workload in the past year year and a half increased to a level where i was teetering on the edge of uh, uh sort of like a burnout uh, kind of feeling mm-hmm. uh so mm-hmm. in a way this this lockdown period has been well timed for me i get this time to introspect to focus on myself um you know as actors you know they say you are the player and you are the instrument this body that mm-hmm. we have this mortal vessel that we have we are the players and this is our instrument so mm. to be able to focus on on um on myself uh to be able to get time with my wife uh after we got married the the year following our marriage was busy for the both of us so it's given us time to rediscover each other in a different way um bond with each other um and and yeah um just uh, uh i i honestly i didn't feel like being out there i said mauka mila hai to might as well be in hibernation and and go underground i i enjoyed that period of of being under the radar off the grid as they say oh that's nice that's nice but if i can request you from all your fans keep enjoying what you're doing but just give a little bit of glimpse of what you're doing a picture maybe or what you're doing on a day because the message that we have got our me and my search team my just throw a picture let us know what you're doing tell us if you are singing stuff like that so just for your fans uh, request from them and i'm forwarding to you 
whenever you can just throw a little bit here and there for them to be happy i Deal? will most definitely point Great. noted well taken and registered thank you for conveying captain no problem so let's start yes sir uh see i i am a 90s kid yeah and i i say it all the time and i know you also a 90s kid yeah uh what are things that you remember from 90s <laughs> and one and 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 one thing i particularly want to ask is when i used to watch all the all the uh, serials and stuff then yes. probably was different from yours because you saw it from a different mind you know i i i saw a lot of places where you interacted people you impersonate people you you were totally into that so what your experiences watching all those dekh bhai dekh zaban sawal ke all the stuff different than ours or was it the same like just have fun i most def- very rightly said skipper i'm a 90s kid you know it's the mm. born in 85 that 90s era is the one that defines you you know uh, you follow everything from films to music to fashion True. to pop culture uh, and those are your formative years those are your foundation years so so whatever you uh, consume and and register and subscribe to in that period it stays with you forever so i have the fondest memories of everything that you mentioned dekh bhai dekh um zaban sambhal ke i used to um, basically na captain i used to be a tv ka bachcha a product of mm. television a tv kid mm. uh, when uh, when kids being outside i was sitting in front of the idiot box and becoming an idiot um i was uh, if i was not watching movies on vcr i was watching doordarshan i was watching oh vcr yeah. good one yeah. you Ch- don't know about vcr now i used to wait yeah. for mahabharat on sunday <laughs> ramayan on sunday i used to wait for chaya geet it was like an event everything was yeah. worked backwards from the telecast time um and then um uh Deepika has come and tuned into our chat. She's saying you are terrible at math. That uh, was so harsh. That was so harsh. Terrible at math. Wifey, wifey, doing wifey business. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was kind of terrible at math. I still am. I was never able to. That uh, makes two of us. Maths. That makes two of us. Really, I think we turned out all right. So yeah, all yeah, the yeah. kids out there who are facing uh, this uh, constant pressure of. Uh, uh you know uh, match in general well in don't lose hope yeah it's yeah. it's not the end of the it will be great if you can do it but it, if you can't do it it's not the end of the world you can <laughs> tomorrow if you find your passion you can become sunil chhetri even if you are not good in maths <laughs> no and you can become ranveer singh also man uh so so yeah i think yeah i, I could Captain, yeah no, go on go on go on please go on that's the that's the that's the decade for me uh you know um mm. I used to um I used to uh watch television non-stop and especially mm. in the early 90s when cable television came I was just hooked like I was watching WWF mm. and even when my mom used to watch Bold and Beautiful and Santa Barbara and all I used to be hooked watching the stuff that mm. one really shouldn't be watching at that age but that's all the kind of programming that we did get sure. and I'd wake up at 4 and 5 in the morning to watch uh, uh you know Star TV um you know there was garfield and small wonder and all i was just hooked um and uh, even my idols were all the leading men from the 90s uh, you know it started off with amitabh bachchan and then amir khan shahrukh khan um govinda govinda anil kapoor yeah, he was one of my favorites salman yeah. khan all the big 90s heroes sunny deol sanjay dutt sunil shetty you name it these guys were like my idols like i wanted to grow up and be them um yeah. so my fascination for for movies um and my my obsession with television uh, it was it was all it all started in the 90s uh, and those are those those shows are uh, the ones that you remember uh, you know with great fondness true, they and they they cult shows uh, true. Uh, it, it, you know nowadays on instagram you have these handles uh and uh, with kind of social media you can exchange these memes and stuff i i get very excited when i get those memes about only a 90s kid knows will understand this yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly and and you have a smile on your face oh this happened this was there yeah. this happened yeah. yeah 
So what were your favorite shows? You used to watch Dek by Dek and Zaban Samal Ke. I I know the song Zaban Samal Ke. Zaban Samal Ke. Jo kya ho kaho par zara Dek by Dek. Dek by Dek. I I know all of the I. You know a lot of like a lot of places where I go and when they talk to me they think ah he won't know these things. I was hooked. I love the fact you say WWF and not WWE. It was <laughs> yeah. WWF. Yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin completely, completely was my favorite. <laughs> and okay, I want to ask, I ask this: Your first cable TV was it bought or was it stolen? Because mine was stolen. <laughs> I still remember. So what happened? My father. So listen, my father was in army and he was away. So I told my mom, "Mom, we need cable TV." She said, uh-huh. "No, in for two reasons. One, you're going to be spoiled, and two, one eighty bucks. Forget it. Not on something that she doesn't think is good for us." So I got this star, you know, a whole <laughs> wire. I went down with my friend and I hooked it. Or who uncle ne mujhe pakal diya? Who mere ghar pahunch gaye? Tumara beta aur tumare sare dost. Dekho. Because unka fir connection lose ho gaya na? Unhone khareeda tha. To unka connection lose ho gaya. To wo tumare ghar aage. So, what was yours? Was it bought or was it stolen like ours? Mine was bought, and to be honest, I was uh, I was allowed to. Uh, I was such a menace. I was a hmm. very very mischievous kid. So they were like, at least when he sits in front of this idiot box, at least he's in one place, not creating trouble. Um, but I, I feel like you know, um, um, Deepika had a very different upbringing. You know, hmm. she was a she was an athlete growing up, so she used to not watch. uh that much television so uh sometimes she turns around and she asks me how do you know all of these things and mm. you you know so much about so much and i'm almost embarrassed to admit to her that more than half of my knowledge comes from very random <laughs> unexpected sources <laughs> like television it's not like i read mm. this in a book or something like in like you know the lead character in patal lok he 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 spews all this uh, gyan Jaydeep Anwar's yeah. character. He has yeah. a lot of gyan about mm. uh, Indian mythology, etc. Mm. But he says, "But in the Shastras, it's written. But I read it on WhatsApp." So yeah. basically, I have all of this useless, uh, um, you know, uh, knowledge uh, about various things, and I've got it all from watching television. And I mm. have insights into, uh, you know, uh, cultures and stuff. Stuff. It's only because I was a big TV buff, so I'm a I'm actually a product of of television and and '90s television to be precise. And 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 watching those serials, did you ever think that you're going to be in one of them, or you're going to be a, a an actor, or was it just like having fun and you didn't know at that time that you wanted to be an actor? Actually, it was when I used to watch these movies, uh, which used to uh, the lead characters would be these larger than life characters, you know, um, mm. where uh, uh, I used to I used to consume all the mainstream films. Like mm. um, uh, the, my my earliest heroes were Sylvester Stallone, Arnold mm. Schwarzenegger, of Amitabh course, of Bachchan course, in, in his mm. larger than life avatars. uh you know it was uh, it was those guys who used to those characters and those those individuals who used to fascinate me um so i used to be obsessed with rambo when i was uh, when i was a kid we all were so, yeah yeah so i used to uh, wake up in the morning and i used to take a, la- a lal rang ka patta and i used to and stand bah- in front of the mirror <laughs> and i used to i used to tie it <laughs> like look the, at your own self in the yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, i had a big i had a big toy uh, toy gun which i used to carry around all day and uh, if anybody would address me as ranveer i would be like my name is rambo call me rambo mm-hmm. so <laughs> so uh, and lo it it used to my obsession used to run so deep that i used to go to sleep with mm. and just like rambo he used to tie mm. a knife over here yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah i used to take a butter knife from the kitchen and tie it on my ankle and sleep so um i was very very obsessed with uh, with these larger than life heroes um and my fascination with movies started there um i i found i found this fan world to be very alluring you know where you can where you can be uh something that you can you can you can be something fantastical you know something that's larger than life 
so i i was always attracted i would not perhaps not be able to articulate it but i was definitely attracted to the point of wanting to be a part of that world uh, mm-hmm. you know to be mujhe basically you know hindi mein bolte hain mujhe hero banna tha aur mujhe mm-hmm. bachpan se hi banna tha matlab as mm-hmm. far back as i can remember i didn't want to be anything else other than a hindi film ka hero wow that's a good story look where you are now that's a good story <laughs> so yeah so to my next query copywriting was always your first calling isn't it copywriting was actually my uh, my backup captain i i i thought about copywriting as an alternative to acting in case the acting gig didn't work out for me because okay. you know when we were growing up in the 90s um, there were only very few examples to go by where somebody from the outside had broken into the hindi film business you know um, mm. the way uh, the hindi film business was structured for the longest time um, for lack of a better way to put it it was like a mom and pop shop you know all the prime mm. opportunities were reserved for people um, who kind of uh, had uh, a backing of lineage or mm. of some mm. kind mm. there were there were very very few examples of of guys just less than a handful of guys who had made it uh, from the outside so it seemed like a very far fetched thing for somebody mm. like me to aspire to want to be in movies um mm. it was around 10th standard where the question started becoming a little bit serious ki actually mm. aapko life abhi aap 15 saal ke ho going mm. forward you're going to change your institution you're going to junior mm. college you have to choose arts commerce or science and you have to kind of start planning what you're going to really do with your life so mm. uh i was i used to be very naive and think that it would be simple for me to become an actor but at the age of 15 i looked around it was around the year 2000 and i didn't really have any examples to go by um hmm. you know i looked around and all the people who were um you know making their debut in movies were all somehow connected to the film industry you know hmm. there was there was no case uh, case for me to hang on to and say if this guy can do it i can do it so hmm. at the age of 15 I kind of abandoned that lifelong dream of mine to want to become an actor. I said, "Yar, ye apne bus ki baat nahi hai. This is a bit far fetched. Ye, hamare, hama, it's it's out of my reach." Um, so at fifteen, I said, "I thought, what else is it that I enjoy doing? I used to enjoy hmm. writing these one-liners for ads. मुझे याद है स्कूल में ना एक कंपटीशन रखा था और वो कंपटीशन में आपको एक प्रोडक्ट देंगे और आपको उसका पूरा एड जिंगल लिख के देना है और मैं उस उस कंपटीशन में फर्स्ट आया तो मुझे लगा यार ये काफी कूल था करते हुए बड़ा मजा आया क्या बेचा आपने और क्या लिखा आपने इफ यू रिमेंबर स्कूल वो वाले कंपटीशन में पता नहीं लेकिन इट वॉज इट वॉज लाइक अ डोमिनेंट विक्ट्री मतलब मैंने फाड़ दिया था कॉम्पिटिशन में फिर बाद में अंकल से बात करके पता चला की दिस इज समिंग यू कैन एक्चुअली डू फॉर अ लिविंग ऐसे yeah. कुछ लोग हैं इस दुनिया में जिनका हु प्रोफेशन इज कॉपी राइटिंग जिनका hmm. काम यही है कि प्रोडक्ट hmm. के लिए एक लाइन लिखे उसके उसके अराउंड uh, एक स्टोरी बनाए मार्केटिंग स्टोरी बनाए सो आई सेट दिस इज ग्रेट दिस इज अनदर करियर ऑप्शन फॉर मी सो आई रियली थॉट दैट आई वाज गोइंग टू बिकम अ कॉपी राइटर आई जॉइन मीडिया स्टडीज एंड आई वॉज ऑन ट्रैक टू बिकम अ कॉपी बट एट द एज ऑफ अबाउट नाइनटीन it kind of hit me that this is not my this is not my real love this is a hmm. me making a compromise this is hmm. me settling for something less than what it is i actually want hmm. deep down in my hmm. heart and um, and i'm glad that i had that realization i uh, expressed it to my father and he was immediately supportive he said beta just do what's in your heart only then you're going to be good at what you do hmm. and hmm. that's how i was able to pursue becoming an actor varna to main copywriter banta tha halaki maine 15 aur 19 ke beech mein do internships kiye the ek onm mumbai mein aur ek jw mumbai mein that's why i asked you that's why i asked you yeah and i had a, i had good feedback in those internships um hmm. ye uh, uh jo from what i could gather i hmm. i i could have i could have been a good copywriter um i was a very bright intern and i could have totally become a copywriter um i remember ek uh, ek rap le- us waqt mein bhi main rap mein hi likhta tha hmm. aur wo hmm. co- agency mein na mujhe they used to call me the rhyme specialist they were like hmm. if you have a line and you need a rhyme with it just go to this guy he's like the rhyme doctor 
he can rhyme anything with anything so all my seniors used to come and they used to say just see if you can rhyme something with this ek uh, ek wo machhar maarne ki wo uh, ka wo product hota tha na good night uh, haan ji ha to good night uh, jwt mein ha jwt mein hamara client hota tha good night aur hmm. good night ke liye maine ek radio jingle likha tha aur hmm. uh, wo uh, that the client actually loved it they they actually bought it um वो क्या होता था ना हमारे सीनियर्स जो थे ना दे यूज टू बी वेरी हंग्री फॉर अवार्ड्स तो दे यूज टू राइट ऑल दी सेरिब्रल एड्स दैट वुड गो टू कांस एंड स्टफ एंड हैव अ चांस ऑफ विनिंग अवार्ड्स अब हमारी बस की बात नहीं थी टू राइट दी सेरिब्रल टाइप्स ऑफ एड्स सो हम बड़े लो ब्राउ एड्स लिखते थे जैसे लाइंस लाइंस फॉर गुड नाइट यूज टू बी लाइक कॉइल था हरा पर मच्छर नहीं मरा ले आइए लाल और देखिए कमाल तो दिस तो आम भाषा में जो लिखा जाता था वो क्लाइंट को बड़ा पसंद आता था सो आई टू सेल मोर एज एज एन इंटर्न माय सीनियर्स हु आर राइटिंग सेरिब्रल एड्स सो क्लियरली आई हैड अ फ्यूचर एज एज अ लो ब्राउ आउटपुट काइंड ऑफ कॉपीराइटर और एक रैप भी लिखा था मुझे याद है मैन आई हैव गिवन इट द टाइटल मच्छर रैप कौन प्लीज क्या था यार हां बात समझ लो पक्की मैट और लिक्विड डेटर हमारा कुछ बिगाड़ ना पाते असर करने से पहले ही हम आपको काट खाते इसी से तो होता है हमारा गुजारा पेट भर खाता है हमारा कौम सारा देख जिद्दी मच्छर मेरे हाथ में है क्या गुड नाइट का इलेक्ट्रिक जेल नया 110 गुना ज्यादा इसमें है शक्ति इसका मतलब मच्छरों से पूरी तरह मुक्ति गुड नाइट इलेक्ट्रिक जेल अब 110 गुना ज्यादा असरदार आज तो क्या सो दिस इज दिस इज माय फॉरमोस्ट रणवीर प्रोडक्ट एंड हिज ब्रेन प्लीज डू नॉट कॉपी इट हुओवर इज लिसनिंग टू दिस कल को ऐसा ना हो कि हम ऐड देख रहे हो और ये छाप दिया उन्होंने गुड नाइट वालों को इन 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 गुड फेथ मेरी मेरी ये भेंट है आप इसका एक रेडियो जिंगल बना के डाल दे तो मेरे मेरी राइटिंग साकार हो जाएगी सो सो आई आई हैव गॉट टू नो दैट इट्स नॉट ओनली जस्ट द रैप एंड द राइम बिट बट यू राइट आल्सो नॉट जस्ट कॉपी राइटिंग बट यू राइट आल्सो एंड आई नो इट्स वेरी पर्सनल एंड यू प्रोबली वुडंट वांट टू शेयर बट इज इट समथिंग दैट केम अलोंग द वे डू यू स्टिल डू इट do you get time to write stuff which is not just about rhyme and fun or copywriting but something from your heart uh skip i actually don't write as such but i contribute a lot in uh, dialogue writing uh, that's something okay. um, i don't think many people know but uh, hmm. this kind of side skill of mine comes very in in handy when when i'm approaching a character or doing a scene um uh, often times what happens is uh when the writer is writing a scene he is not in the space he is not in the moment he is writing hmm. wherever he is writing char in in hmm. the in the confines of his home or his office or wherever he writes uh and sometimes there are certain things that you need in the scene uh that are not there on paper so if you hmm. have this knack of uh adding to the dialogue tweaking the dialogue a little bit um it really comes in handy it really like brings the scene together um sometimes you need a link So sometimes there are two dialogues which you feel are two different thoughts um hmm. so in order to have a bridge or a link between them you got to come up with something um hmm. so this side skill of writing that's where it that that's where i find the most amount of use for it is is hmm. when i'm um, contributing towards the dialogues in in certain scenes i uh, joke with my directors uh, that i want uh, a dialogue writer credit uh, yeah. but but really i've been very fortunate to work with uh, people who are open to that kind of collaboration you know um the the writers the directors they are always uh, inviting this kind of input um and it goes a long way it really makes the scene feel complete hmm so talking about your skills as a copywriter helping the directors with with some added uh, dialogues your acting your your rap there's one more talent of yours which overshadows all this talent and before you say no i've done a lot of research so you can't even deny and that ability of yours is to sleep 
<laughs> now before you answer this now before you answer this there were many ways how people have tried to help you one your sisters getting chocolates to bribe you <laughs> to get up in the morning one a very uh, controversial one was you're doing a movie called gunde <laughs> and your co-star and friend and people from the team have said that there was a special person with ranvi to stop him from going to the van to take a nap <laughs> because you never know when he's going to come back so all these allegations that are on you please explain skip i have to admit my sleeping habits are not the best in the world i am not very proud of them my wife uh, my beautiful wife uh, my very helpful wife is uh, trying to uh, help me in this process of sorting out my sleeping habits and and uh, getting some sort of streamlining and discipline into it but my sleeping habits are terrible i'll tell you why uh, captain because i am a creature of the night i am hmm. a nocturnal creature i have this i have this great uh, connection with the night time i don't know what it is about the night that i find very attractive you know when the world is sleeping and there is thodi thoda thodi shanti hai uh, you know mm. you can you really have um you have time and space and quietude to kind of be with yourself and with your thoughts so so i enjoy being awake at night but that only means that i sleep very late and that's where the domino effect starts you sleep late mm. then you wake up late um then you're trying to take naps during the day to sustain your energy um so it's only because i have i have, uh, i love the night so much um mm. and you know in films often we have night shoots uh 2 mm. baje ke baad sabki batti bujh jati hai main bhi main 6 6 7 baje subah tak main full power chal raha hu और मैं सेट पे मैं सेट पे सब मैं सेट सेट पे सबकी फिरकी भी लेता हूँ कोई कोई होता ना जो जो तीन साढ़े तीन बजे वो जिसकी जो झपकी मार रहा होता है ए ए ए सुस्ती मत फैलाओ सुस्ती मत फैलाओ इधर चलो चलो so uh so i'm really good uh, with night shoots and i keep asking my co-actors you good with night shoots i love night shoots so um so yeah it's because i am a creature of the night that uh, that early mornings don't really agree with me so bribe from sisters has been transferred to bribe from wife or wife doesn't need the chocolates she has some other ways to get you up wife doesn't wife, sister uh, sister has extra affection for me so she'll try the bribe route my wife will be there with a belan in the morning <laughs> trying to <laughs> uh and with a great forehand so don't un- underestimate that she has a great forehand also so yeah yeah hmm. yeah and hmm. uh, but but she is not she is not uh, insensitive like that i have told her baby in the morning na i'm very like i'm very vulnerable and i'm very like sensitive so thoda halka haath rakh ke uthana mujhe she's she's very kind that way <laughs> okay so that leads me to the fourth question and we and this is an acting question and before i ask you i want to apologize because i don't know much about acting so if i do ask something which is stupid just pardon me okay so the movies that i've watched yours the last four ones ram leela padmavat gali boy and uh, which is the fourth one that i watched again sanjay leela bansali one so all these four movies baji rao mustan Bajir Ramastan all these four movies what i see is you're so passionate and deep into the role okay and i also done the research where i've known about stuff how you go about a role and i know for a fact it's very passionate very deep lot of hard work does that also mean that if something doesn't go your way or people don't like it the 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 the, the, the sadness and sorrow is twice uh because you know why i'm asking this because your profession you work for months and months and it all goes to one friday mm. uh it's it's not very fair but so yeah. much of hard work put by so many people it goes to one friday so are you somebody who who broods a lot after something if it doesn't go away or you just like you know what i i i did it and i move on what kind of person are you that's a great question skipper i um i i i I had to hit the ground running when I started working in show business in the sense that um I didn't realize um how the thing works jaise ki aapne bahut rightly kaha uh, friday to friday hamari kismat badalti rehti hai like you said hmm. you work for many months and then on a friday saturday sunday that the fate of all that effort that so many people so many good people with good intentions have put towards it it suddenly didn't click or didn't work with the audience you know um hmm. 
I used to not know how to deal with it effectively in my initial years. But over a period of time, I evolved as a person. I got a little bit mature, uh, if I may say so myself, uh, in dealing with these things. Um, and after a point, I realized the greatest gift is is the process. Is to actually mm. be on the film set acting. Um, mm. And I I had this realization. Um, and around the same time, it was articulated for me by a speaker in a motivational, uh, a motivational speaker in an audio book. Kya hua tha? Mm. 2015, I think 14, 15. Mm. Um, I had a very serious injury on Baji Rao Mastani, and I was really down in the dumps. Skip like it really had mm. a um, a devastating effect on me. You know, um, physical I, injury. I had torn the labrum in my right shoulder, and we uh, I, we had all the action yet to shoot. and it was a very very big film for me at the time a defining film for me at the time and mm. i was really crushed because i had trained very hard for the sword fighting and and before anything could be shot i you know done this to my shoulder unfortunately so mm. i started listening to these audio books of this motivational speaker who articulated it for me and mm. it said a very beautiful thing the process is the prize you know mm. um it uh, and and if you realize that if if you are not if you don't base um your happiness your joy your fulfillment on the result you got to mm. shift that focus from the result and being result oriented to the mm. to the process and realize that the the real reward the real prize and the real joy is the process itself just mm. being an actor doing what i love to do for a living being able to go to a film set and acting being in front of the camera living those moments between action and cut collaborating with fellow artists who enrich your own craft uh, collaborating with filmmakers who who shape you and mold you as an artist this is the real reward you know just mm. the act of well just the, just the fact that i get to do it is the reward itself so for me mm. if a film does well it's a bonus sone pe suhag mm. the mm. fact that i got to work on it i've already got my prize i've already got my reward so if it mm. does well that's a bonus um i've also uh, learned how to more effectively deal with success and failure in the sense that mm. i uh, you know there was this um i was doing a little bit of reading and i know that there is a in buddhism that they they encourage you to adopt middle path and uh, mm. when it, mm-hmm. in the context of success and failure they say if you manage to not get too carried away with success so it away yeah true and you manage to not get too bogged down by Suck, failure yeah. that's a much healthier way to be so i kind mm. of applied that in my life uh, so if a film is a success it's almost as if um i breathe a sigh of relief ke chalo yaar bach gaye yeah. um mm. especially if you take into consideration the fact that such a small fraction of films actually are successful you know less than mm-hmm. 10% mm-hmm. of films are successful the success rate of uh, major motion pictures is very very slim um so, so if a film is a success you feel very happy um for a few days but then it it's very transient the feeling is very transient um you you feel that joy for 3 days 4 days maybe and then and then your focus shifts back to what you're doing in the moment you know mm-hmm. uh आप शायद किताबी या फिलोसॉफिकल बात लगेगी लेकिन आई बिलीव दैट पास्ट इज एशेज एंड द फ्यूचर इज वुड द ओनली थिंग दैट बर्न इज द नाउ तो अभी क्या हो रहा है इस वक्त प्रेजेंट मोमेंट में क्या हो रहा है प्रेजेंट मोमेंट में भैया कल सुबह मुझे जाना है जो फिल्म अगली मेरी आ रही है जिसपे मैं काम कर रहा हूँ आई हैव टू गो देर गो गेट इन टू कैरेक्टर दैट मॉर्निंग एंड डू माई बेस्ट ऑन दैट डे ऑफ शूट एंड ऑल माई एनर्जी इज are focused towards what's happening in the now um hmm. so so the success is is the joy uh that you get out of a successful film for me is is short lived uh and similarly the failure i don't um, i don't um you know matam nahi manata i don't mourn the uh, I, uh it for too many days bahut bura lagta hai because you see um you share this one commonality with everybody who works on film is that everybody who is working in film invariably is very passionate about films is very passionate mm. about that's why they're there from the light man to the spot boy to the cameraman to the director everybody is very passionate about creating cinema uh, and when all these good people 
with good intentions put their best foot forward and all these collective energies come together to create this thing that is so beloved to you you know it's almost like uh, a child um, hmm. and then it it doesn't it doesn't do well you feel very bad um for the fact that it didn't work out um then you get into analytical mode what might have gone wrong but very soon you have to shed that off because that can hmm. be uh that can be um detrimental yeah. yeah if you don't if you engage with it in a li- for a limited amount of time it'll teach you something you'll understand mm. why people are criticizing mm. why it didn't work what went wrong what you could have done better um it'll teach you something but you must engage then only for a limited period of time mm. after after a few uh few days you got to move on and focus everything on what you're doing in that moment Yeah, why I ask you this? Because a movie is made in months. Whatever the outcome is, it stays until you deliver the next one. It's so different for us. It's every week. Right. So you are a hero today. They're chanting your name. Next, they're abusing you in four days, five days. Yeah. Again, yeah. you are a hero. So we don't have time. So we don't have time to think. There is no time. Oh, yar, ye ho gaya. Wo mujhe ye bol raha tha. Usne mujhe kande pe le liya. Usne mujhe gali di. No, no time. So the learning part for us is very quick. Saturday match, Sunday recovery. Monday you got on the pitch, board, go back. Saturday match again. That's why I asked you, and I also asked you because someone very close to you, I won't say scared, but is a little bit skeptical as to what will happen because the last four five movies of yours were a blockbuster, and last four five movies she saw you giving more of you to the movie. Now she is a little bit wary. I won't say scared. but she not the actress but the wife is a little bit wary what will happen because every movie he is giving more and more what will happen and i hope the streak goes long because it's but it's life you will have hits and you will have flops as simple as that but i hope the streak goes long and i hope whenever it shouldn't come but whenever it comes be sane because your wife is a little bit tense about it <laughs> she is a uh... she's uh, there i say a much more evolved person than i am she's much more mature than i am she has seen um um uh, more ups and downs in her career than i have and and she's a great guide for me um hmm. you know she's um, i can she's a pillar for me she she you know she keeps me on track i i often say that i probably wouldn't have been able to achieve um the little that i have achieved in my career if it wasn't for her um you know i uh, i i i've been working this is my 10th year and yeah. i i met her 3 years into show business and i've been with her ever since mujhe kabhi kabhi lagta hai with with I, i would not have been able to cope with the pressures of celebrity or cope with the um you know um uh, status as as a as a movie star mai bhatak jata बेसिकली कहने का मतलब ये है कि अगर ये नहीं होती मेरी लाइफ में तो मैं भटक जाता एंड एंड शी 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 वरीज वरीज फॉर मी ओनली ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट शी सीज शी सीज यू नो दैट आई एल गो टू एनी एक्सटेंट टू टू अचीव द डिजायर एग्जैक्टली वॉट इज सेड एग्जैक्टली वॉट इज सेड it's it's not um, i can't say it is uh, it's it's very healthy at times uh, mm. it does take it take its toll on you there are certain characters who've taken it their toll on me physically uh, other characters that have taken their toll on me mentally emotionally um, but when you when you push yourself to the brink and you come through it then you've evolved you know then you've mm. progressed you push past mm. the the pain and the struggle and then when you come out on the other side you are a new version of yourself and i think hmm. that's the beauty of the craft but um, over a period of time and i'm happy to report this to you and to my wife who i'm sure is tuned in right now uh, that i have found um, more effective ways of achieving the desired result without those processes being harmful to oneself so i'm i'm becoming more adept at my craft lovely So that takes me to my fifth question, which is also about acting, and this is the last one. Again, disclaimer: if the question is naive, forgive me. So in my profession, it's a team game. 
Oh yeah, I saw. Yeah, your missus is enjoying <laughs> it. Yeah, I love. So it. yeah, the the only request, uh, Deepika ji, please don't spill the beans. You gave away my question of the writer one. Please don't give give away anything now because I got question left to ask Ranveer. All right. So my so my next one is, we got a we got a team sport, and I want to think even uh, making a movie is a team sport, where everyone comes together and builds something. So in my sport. even if you don't like what the coach wants mm. even if you don't like your teammate doesn't mm. happen often but even if you don't like the ideology the, the ideology or anything mm. you still go with what the coach wants mm-hmm. period mm-hmm. you might not like it you might not be happy but you go with it because in our sports the the, the probability of getting success is more if good or bad wrong or right you are in the same direction how does it work in an acting thing because now i've also read correct me if i'm wrong that heroes have a lot of say on the movie mm-hmm. again i again i don't know much so do you have those heated conversation with the director or the mind of the movie saying this is not going right let's do this or is it at the end he says whatever and it's done we all go to the same thing pehle to main ye bolna chahunga skip that these are not amateur level questions ha aap jo the parallels you are drawing they are very no because i'm just i'm taking context it's from my own you know sport. it's a great question skip and i would love hmm. to answer it i think you're very right in drawing that parallel uh, between uh, team sports and the collaborative nature of movie making it is hmm. a team effort um and um the director is is like the coach like the manager um mm. and like you very rightly said you may not agree at times but different players react differently mm. some will rebel some will do their own thing um i hear from you that more often than not you have to go with the conviction of the coach even if you are not in agreement mm. and mm. i would say the same thing as a leading man uh in in the film because i genuinely believe that films are a director's medium you know hmm. the the it's like um, you you are you are just a tool uh, you are a, you are a, you are one part of a much larger process but the hmm. actual creator is the captain of the ship is the one at the helm um is is the director uh, hmm. so uh so you give your you 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 give your input to the director you give your present your point of view but if you reach a point of conflict where mm. what the director wants is is not what you have in mind it it is always there is always merit in going with the director's conviction because he is the one who has um his eyes on the bigger picture and mm. it is it's really his baby it's really his it's a director's medium so i find mm. uh that in these sorts of situations you should always go with the conviction of the director and has it but, ever happened but, but, but uh. like you said like you said you're very uh, this is one insight that that uh, is is very is is absolutely genuine um is that in the hindi um movie making process uh like you said the heroes have a lot of say you know mm. um they is they sort of i read uh, about it So yeah, they are very hmm. important um um centers of the movie making ecosystem um hmm. but that is evolving and that is changing um hmm. the the there is a there is a new uh, wave of of artists um you know who don't subscribe to the to the to the old notions of uh you know the 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 hero being the be all and end all or the authoritative figure on the film set hmm. is really there's only one boss on that set and that's the director so i'm very happy to report to you that the new wave has a very different uh, way of of um, uh, being uh, of acting in uh, functioning in the in the film making process um but uh, but yeah you you have to understand that you are a team player and hmm. and uh, it's 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 the director's medium so hmm. so you 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 basically you have to be cognizant of what your place is in this entire process and uh, and and embrace that and um, hmm. it's not like uh, it's not like i ever shy away from giving my input or suggestion or collaboration um 
um but and 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 often times the directors love it they love the suggestion mm. um mm. but if they reject it you just you just straight take it in your stride and and uh, realize that um the director knows best and mm. i will name the director with whom this holds um absolutely true is a big boss my main man mr rohit shetty when okay i i have i have a suggestion i have something to contribute every time every time hmm. i'll go to the monitor and say boss main ye karu boss main wo karu when he says it he loves it go do it be happy but when he doesn't do it it is for a particular reason and then when you watch the movie back you're like now i understand hmm. why that suggestion hmm. wouldn't work so you have to realize that he is the one who has the birds eye view and has a pic- hmm. has his eyes on the on the final picture and and the bigger picture. picture yeah yeah same coach yeah yeah so so i yeah so yeah they, his his process is very precise so it holds true in in that case more than uh, more than others um and and yeah i i understand that as the leading man you have a position of leadership you are a leader on a film set and you have that responsibility and uh, and i i really um, i'm very thankful but i don't have delusions about um my importance on a film set i realize that i'm only a, a part of a much larger process where there are a lot of other forces contributing to create this that's that, that's well put up for i think a lot of sports people who have tuned in that's a great insight on in movies because I, i as i said i was asking you just as a fan a lot of things that i don't know about movie making so before i go to my sixth one on the rapid fire can i request you for a small tea break if you don't mind because totally. i'm enjoying it i enjoy i just didn't realize it's one hour already so to everyone who is tuned in exact 2 minutes and when i say 2 minutes it means a sports person 2 minutes not a movie making 2 minutes which means okay, 10 okay. minutes so in 2 minutes we'll be back bhag ke we have a Ji. code language skipper in movies Ji. because yeah. you have to communicate out loud you yeah. you, uh, you don't say toilet jana hai bathroom yeah. jana hai the code word is 10 1 ओके टेन वन करके आया मैं लवली आई हैव टू आस्क यू मोर अबाउट दिस लेट मी गेट बैक इन टू मिनट्स डन